he ain't standing up a perfect team, I'll tell you that. But at the same time, I still can't bitch because it's still way better. Uh... uh. Everything. Put some more gas in here. Let's do that. Um, and saddles. Whoops. Saddles. I need what? Three mammoth saddles. One, two, three. I need fiber. We got fiber. We got plenty of fiber. Get some fibers. Toss that in there. Saddles. What do I need? One Anki saddle, right? I think so. I think it's one Anki saddle, three mammoth saddles, and that's it. If I'm not mistaken. Now, why am I creating all these saddles, you ask, when I can just toss them back and forth? For the simple reason of the fact that eventually I'm going to have so many dinosaurs, I'm not going to want to be tossing them back and forth. I just want them to just be there. And, yeah. You know. It's just easier to do this when you have... Everybody has saddles on. So, let me just toss you on there so now you have a saddle access inventory now you got a saddle and at the same time this is going to help me be able to build this base up because I can take all these mammoths with me when I'm on my doeds and uh, or actually no I'm not going to do that with them on the but I can take these guys with me when I go cut wood, and I can fill all their inventories up with wood. Um, especially once I take the time to uh, write down all of their stats so I can see which one's the better one. Because I, I would like to fuck around with um, taming, or not taming, raising some babies of different things. I mean, obviously, it's kind of going to be, um, you know, me waiting for a couple different things to happen before I start going crazy doing shit like that, but it won't be too much longer. I guess I'll crank a little bit of health, get myself up to like 300 health. Um, Where am I at level-wise, too? 75? So we got a vault, a rock drake saddle. See, there's the thing about the vaults, too. Vaults really aren't worth it in my opinion, because they take up like just the same amount of space. Vault can hold a hundred things, but the, um, the, um, whatchamacallits, the large storage boxes can hold 45. You can put three of those in the same spot as one vault, so you get like an extra 20-some storage, and them little fucking storage crates cost a hell of a lot less than a goddamn vault does. I'll tell you that. Now, granted, having a vault, like, near something where you only have, like, one of it. Like, if you have a vault next to a big-ass in, an induction smelter. When we get that, that's smart because you put, like, two of them up. And you put that bad boy, like, in the center or off to the side right next to your door. And that way, when you trade for shit, you uh, just have it all sitting there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be fucking doing that for days. Um, let me just grab all this wood. I'll just throw all this wood in here and just let this go. Because I got a lot of metal sitting there that needs to get smelted down. Mainly because we'll have a lot of stuff that we need to do. I also need to make an Argentavis saddle too. Let me see what I need for that. Because I made that in my inventory. I need fiber currently. Thank God I know where some is. 
Make one Argentavis saddle, please. And then put all this shit the fuck away. I'm gonna have to come back in here and move some shit around, but I'll have to wait. Because I do need to start building the rest of my base first. We got preserving salts are there, raw salt and sulfur. Alright, I don't think I don't think I can get any of that here. So I'm probably gonna have to run over to the uh, desert map and start that up. Yeah, that's probably gonna be my plan. Because I still, I'm, I'm not even going to be able to build this up all the way like I want to. Because I'm probably going to end up getting, like, stopped building right about here. But also at the same time, I don't want to go overly crazy building up here. Because once I get these guys from Abstergo to knock that down, what I build down here might not line up with any of this shit. So that's going to have to be something I'm going to have to adjust. I mean, again, I can just make a ramp to it, so it won't really hurt nothing, but I mean, I still need to make something up here for us to start expanding what we got going on. Are both of these guys full with stone, too? I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, so I can start crafting stone, too. Let me go see what's going on with the Argentavis meat-wise, because I don't know. I don't remember how long ago it was. I mean, it's probably been like five minutes, but I just got to double check. Just make sure. And then we'll probably end up having to do some kibble tames, too, on some 150s. I just wanted to get this one done because this will be, this will stand up. Oh, it'll be a 150 plus, like, 69 levels so it'll be 119 118 or 218 and this was a 140 oh shit they're both males <laughs> fuck i didn't think about that um actually i didn't even realize that to be honest with you um you bump him up i didn't even realize he had oil in him still Oh yeah, that is something too. Uh, now that we have that Rex, it'll be it will be a lot easier to get um, oil because we won't be getting tossed off of our dino anymore from them tech bastards. All right, let me go get like three more prime meat, maybe four. That's what we'll do. We'll do increments of four prime until this guy's tamed, four or five, just because I don't want to keep eating everything around this area and then not have anything come back but I just like eat two or three things get a couple pieces run back up wait for him to eat them and go from there and then I'll probably I do gotta go do something once this Argentavis tames. So I probably will uh, spend a little bit of time when I come back running around and trying to find a bunch of tech creatures to eat. Yeah, that'll probably be something I gotta do.
find some pet creatures when I come back. Get a bunch of oil. Because I would like, along with getting the upstairs somewhat built, I'd also really like to um, spend some time and get a electric facility up and running. Um, I mean, I know it's not going to be anything immediate, but I'd like to start getting all that crap going. That way I don't have to worry about too much. Put the saddle on there. Put those in there. Can I make any more? Yeah, I can make ten. All the narcotics. It also would help, too, to have, as I scream into the mic and then still hiccup again, it would also help if I had, like, a whole chest full of narcotics, because that way I can spend some time fucking with those. That hurt. It's like clenched the fuck out my jaw. Ooh. And then my shoulder starts fucking up too. Jesus Christ. It's all fucked up right now. Um, how long? I mean, I just put it on there, but what's the actual timer at for those things? Like 15 minutes. Alright. So, 15 minutes, you're at 75%. Jesus. It said 15 of them, but that's three. I gotta check something. 3.5, right? Yeah. Yeah, there ain't no fucking way. It's like 30. It's like almost 30 prime meat that thing's gotta eat. Alright guys, well, while I'm waiting for this bad boy to tame, I'm just going to start running a bunch of crap all over the place. I don't know where these extra 100 arrows come from, but, well, we got lag going on, but I need to get rid of them. Although, don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not complaining that I got an extra random 100 arrows sitting in my inventory, because, you know, that's fantastic, but I'd still like to get them out, so I can do what I got to do down here. Let me... So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move most of the stone upstairs, guys, and then I will come back when now RNG's done and probably have quite a bit of floors and stuff ready to go so i'll catch you guys back here in a little bit Take that.
two. Point six. God damn. Oh wait, that should be good, right? Oh yeah. Emily needs two more. Fucking. All right, guys. So, good news is is that the Argentavis is only two more prime meat away from standing up. It'll stand up at a 218, which, if I'm not mistaken, is what these guys stood up at. Yeah. So. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure 218 is the highest that a dyno can stand up on two times without kibble. I mean, now granted, there are there are some weekends where you do have the three times, but that's very rare. So, Okay. Me running here. I'm just finishing transferring some wood real quick while he finishes up tame. And then I'm going to fill this chest up with wood. And then once the chest is filled up, I'll start crafting some stuff. It's just easier to have all the wood up and all the materials and stuff up here already. I just have to keep running back and forth because I don't have the elevator built currently to move my bigger dinos upstairs which that's fine I will be able to do that yeah in a little bit just going to need to figure out what they need for the elevator track and then once I know that I'll be able to build that guy to get upstairs the only thing that might suck is I've already started building the foundations and everything so the elevator is gonna have to kinda be built down instead of built up so hopefully everything snaps together and doesn't you know fuck me over otherwise we're just gonna have a little bit of a lip on the elevator which is fine I'm not that concerned about having a little bit of a lip um, <coughs> just gonna keep going here. He's actually just now starting to. I can see the wood at the very or the end of the wood. So I got a feeling I'll fill up this chest and then maybe have a little bit left over. And then we'll probably get about double what you see there stone-wise done. And yeah. You do gotta run and take care of something new first when this RG stands up. Well, I'll probably do it when the RG stands up and when I fill that up with wood. <coughs> I don't really wanna not fill that up and then go do what I wanna do because then I'll still have to run back and forth. But I just have this done while I'm waiting for this bad boy to stand up. You know one thing I just realized though? I'm kind of doing this asinine because I have an Argentavis already that has 1200 carry weight and I'm, try I'm definitely trying to use myself with 400 carry weight to carry wood back and forth when I could just use the fucking Argentavis. You know, hey, you know, sometimes you just realize shit late. Let me go ahead and do that though because that sounds like a whole hell of a lot smarter of an idea than what the fuck I'm doing. Um, Steven? Please help. Run down here to Manny. And can I access your inventory? And can I access your inventory? Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, hey, it stand up or stood up. Excuse me fucking English today. 
Holy shit. Well, that works. Open the fucking door. Take Marge and Tavis inside. Steven, we're going on another trip. And down the rabbit hole. Cool. So now I have Steven. I don't know what I'm going to call you yet. But I can put the Argentavis saddle on you. Um, oh wow, you have actually some pretty good stam. I don't even think Steven had that much stam when he stood up originally. Although I don't remember what he had. To be fair. So... I mean, we'll definitely use him as the uh, male. Because I think even his melee damage is better than Steven's is. By a little bit. His health is... Yeah, his melee damage is better by a little bit. His stam is definitely better. And his weight, I think, is an extra 100 compared to what Steven's was originally. So... I will definitely take that over what Steven had. No offense to Steven. And we'll just grab some wood. Like I said, I want to fill up this chest before I go do what I got to do real quick. And then I shall be back. It shouldn't take me very long. that wood in here all right fellas then I will be right back I gotta go do a couple things real quick and then I shall be where we will be ready to start building our base a little bit bigger so see you guys in a couple minutes all right fellas so we're back I went ahead and just grabbed the rest of the wood off of the mammoth and now we're just gonna go ahead nice and to be out start of the grabbing ourselves as many foundations and ceilings as we possibly can. I'll probably just make a bunch of foundations to start and then kind of just go from there. I'll probably make like a like 20 of each, roughly. Would probably be a good place to start. little bit lag here all right there we go now we're back back in business let's take a bunch more stone it is funny how quickly you run out of shit once you start building. Make 11 of those bad boys. Okay, so now let me run back outside with everything I got, and we're just going to kind of do it like this. That way we don't get too sidetracked um, and just start running these bad boys out. How far can I go this way? Okay, so that's as far as I can go that way. And then we go, oops, six. We can go there. Then 
Then we just need foundation support for that. I don't know about any of that. Ceiling is obstructed. Well, yeah, it is obstructed, but I'd still like to put one there. That is weird. They used to let you do that. Well, whatever. Okay, so there's a little bit more of space for us. It's nice. Um, ooh. Easy there. Um, hmm. Alright, let me go make some more foundations and everything. Those. Grab another five of these. And then just max out stone in the inventory. Go back to crafting. I'm going to grab like four of these. And then I'll just grab eight of you. seven all right so that's actually all the fucking stone in there i have to go get some more stone off the dough eds which you know kind of sucks but it is what it is <clears throat> as you guys can see this is where the uh oh you can run out of resources really fucking fast thing kinks in And I will have to decide, too, how I want to handle this. Because I'd like to box this out. Because what? Six, right? Yep, yeah, six. Because I can't... I don't know why I can't do that. And I don't really want to... Throw that down. Six. Yeah, I have to be you. And then seven... I don't even know how many I have left. I think it's just one. Oh, yeah. Then I'll have to this out. I'm going to go back here. Okay. Nearby foundation support. Let me see. Foundation wise, what we can do. Because I'm pretty sure if I go here, drop these bad boys there, if I go to 8, can these stack up on this? Hey, that worked. Okay. I mean, not for us flying, but that at least worked to get that 
that pillar there. Now the question is, did that actually do structural? No. Okay, because it's not actually on the ground. So we go back to seven, or I'm sorry, eight. That should make it structural. Yep. And that makes it structural. And there's no foundation support there either, right? Yep. Oop, 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 easy. Um, seven, no, eight, I'm sorry. Right now, this is going to be a lot of breaking. Because to get this the way I want it, I'm going to have to fuck around with a lot of shit. Um, okay. Well, first things first, I definitely got to get some more stone. Love as far as the wood's concerned, the, it's like we didn't even touch the wood. But stone, we fucking ran through stone. Alright guys, I'm kind of going to, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use up all of the stone we have currently. And then once we have the stone done to the point where we no longer have any more and I need to go get more, I'm going to, from that point in time, <clears throat> switch gears. I'm going to go do a couple more things that I gotta do around the house for the weekend. And then once all that's done and it pretty much starts raining this afternoon, I'm gonna come back, do some gathering with all of, or with everybody. And I'm going to continue to build. And once all that's done, I will be back when we have pretty much another round of like everything in our inventory. And then spend some time one, two, three, four, five, six. I need, if I can get, let me grab. Five hundred more stone. Let me do structures, stone, behemoth or, oh, okay. What do you need? You need wood? Stone. Okay. Well, the behemoth door is going to be the most important thing. Because now that that's set up, I can at least get ready for that. Grab five of these. I grab six. No, I grab five. Alright. Let me do... Uh, I'll do 29 because I know I'm going to have to do a little bit of bullshit to get them going. So having a decent amount of those is probably going to be worthwhile for the immediate future. And then once I get the out front the way I want, or at least that front edge, I'll be able to start putzing with shit too. Okay. So as far as walking is concerned, we are 
over encumbered. Let me drop off the wood because that'll probably help a lot, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> Oops. Eight. Fuck. It's already lagging. Alright, now that should be perfect. And I shouldn't need that one anymore. Let me just cut that off. Oop. No, I need the pillar. So as you guys can see, it's kind of one of those things where you have to definitely make sure you have the foundation support, and then obviously the foundation support is definitely something that you have to, uh, you know, cross your fingers and hope that you have enough shit in the area to hold everything up, and, you know, just kind of go from there. I mean, you know, you don't ever know till you try, and then once you get an idea of where all of your supports need to be then you can do what I did and set up <clears throat> a master pillar which would be that bad boy right there and then you just take your pillars and it should give you your snap points so that'll be where the next roof is it'll be that one and then you can go over one more and that'll be supporting that bad boy and if we ride this mammoth and get it the fuck out the way, <clears throat> at least for right now, ride that mammoth and we go there, that means that's the only one that actually needs to be there. I can pick this stone pillar up and it won't affect anything and I can also pick this stone pillar up and it still won't affect anything up there. But now this pillar by itself, if I fly back upstairs, we can now put ceilings there so it's a little weird the way arc works as far as the pillars are concerned but you know i mean each game has their own um logistics with how everything works and once you figure out how it all functions it's it's pretty easy um and then obviously you can see that this needs nearby foundations so i'll have to go back down and run those foundations around at least whenever the game stops lagging. I don't know why it's not letting me build. Oh. Huh. Okay. That's weird. See, now I'm not sure. Because that should have been... The foundation for that one. I mean, it was working. But now... Is it too far away?
Oh, you bitch. That's the other issue you, all, you run into when you're doing this. Is these fucking pillars have a mind of their own. I'm not sure why it made me do that, but for some dumb reason. And if I go here... I need more pillars. That's fine. We'll just keep going with what we have now. What the fuck? Excuse you. Okay. I'll go to six. Like I said, I want to go out that way and be able to go this way. Okay, so that's pretty much what we can do right now with the stone. So as you guys can see, we do have something going on here. I'll probably end up just leaving that like that. We'll just run walls right there and cut that off. And then over here, I'll pretty much just get this corner to uh, cut over those what's that four over and then three back up so i have to have a pillar outside of the stone wall which isn't too bad considering i already want to have all this built anyway so we'll deal with that or i'll just leave it like that to be honest with you maybe i'll just have have it come over here and stop and i can pick this ceiling up Maybe I will do that and demolish the ceiling. Yeah. And I'll leave that for future building. And I'll pretty much just kind of go this way. But yeah, so that'll be the plan, and then I'll probably just bring the stone all the way over till we get to the Argentavis trap, and then stop there, and then I'll just go that way and fill that in, and then we'll make the elevator, build the behemoth gate that goes here. Well, actually, I guess the, I guess the behemoth gate's actually ready to be installed now. Truth be told, go grab that bad boy. Okay, throw it down, we'll just kind of do that, it's easier to see gates when you do it like this. That's in between quite a few of them. And I 
Looks about right. Okay. I actually need to move that over just a smidgen. Actually, no, I don't. I'll leave right there. I'll just sacrifice the fucking walls and deal with it. That kind of sucks, though. I just had that thing perfect. Well, at least my degree of perfect. Do that one more time, and right about... About there, right? Yep. That's good to go. Well, fellas, that is um, Behemoth Gate Up 2, so... I will... What the fuck is that? Are we getting, like, a drop next to our... Isn't that drop on top of our base? A gotcha saddle. Metal. Red gems. Cool. I'll take that. I didn't know we were a, uh, a fucking um, teleporter. Or not teleporter, a, uh, a drop area, but whatever. Just put all this in there. And put the metal on you, too. Yeah, since metal split in half for you. Alright, so the only other thing I'm going to do, guys, before I get off, because now all the stone is done, besides obviously the stone ceilings that we still have left, I'm going to go ahead in the off time and spend it running around and writing down all the guys' uh, stuff. So that's going to be what m the rest of my time spent on this server is going to be for the morning, and then I will be back in the afternoon. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright guys, so it's been a pretty good morning. We got quite a bit more stuff built. We got everything moved. We tamed a 150. So I will be back later on this afternoon to continue playing. For now, I'm going to go do a couple more things around the house, and then I'm going hunting. So, all right, guys, I will see you all in a little bit. I'm not sure if this is going to roll over into the next episode or if this is going to pretty much be the end of the episode. It kind of all just depends on when the length of time ends for the recording versus, like, how long I was away because I do... When, like, if I record for, like, eight hours and there's, like, an hour and a half I have to do something, I just leave the recording running because I don't see a point in stopping it to save a, a chunk of the video and then have to remember to restart it. It just makes it easier if I just leave it run. So that's kind of just is what it is and how I record. So, all right, guys, I will catch you all later, and we will come back and do some more shit. So see you in a little bit.